The largest vegan food festival in the Pacific Northwest is back. We are talking about the Halloween Vegan Night Market happening this Saturday at the Red. That's an event space on Portland's Central East Side. There's going to be music, costume contests, games, and also, of course, a ton of tasty vegan dishes. There are, in fact, more than 100 vendors participating this year. We've got one of the vendors in studio with us this morning, La Casa de Mama, Alexa, Sid Carrera, as well as her brother, Cesar Sid Carrera. Thank you so much for getting up early to be here with us <laughs> to talk about all your specialties. So for people who may not know much about your bakery, what is it that you guys specialize in? Yeah, yeah. so we're a vegan Mexican bakery that specializes in making traditional Mexican pan muerto, or pan de muerto, pan dulce. Uh, we make tamales, we make a lot of cold sweets as well, including like tres leches, flan, uh, just some arroz con leche, champurrado, <laughs> kind of the whole you know, the whole spiel, you know. Cool, and Alexa, is this your guys' um, first time or have you always been involved in the vegan night market? So we've been thankful enough to be involved in the vegan night market for the past year or so. Mm -hmm. So we've been a part of it for every market since then and it's been just so incredible to see the market grow exponentially since we first started. Started off super small and now we're super excited to be at a bigger event space and we're anticipating a much bigger crowd this time around as well. Absolutely. Okay, so I know you guys have set out some of the pastries here. Um, what is this that we're looking at? Yeah, so this right here is our pan de muerto. We have two variations available, one which is the traditional sesame seed coconut coated version mm -hmm. uh, and then we also have a sugar coated version as well that we like to offer in a variety of colors as well just to make it a little more fun. And in terms of the Day of the Dead, I mean there are some decorations here. Uh, how is this related to your celebration of the Day of the Dead and what is the Day of the Dead for people who are unfamiliar? Yeah, so Day of the Dead really is, contrary to popular belief, or as the name would say, it's actually a celebration of life. Mm. It's a celebration of honoring our loved ones who have passed away, and it's also a moment to just acknowledge that our love for those who have passed on really does transcend the present life. So it's a moment of celebration, of remembering the time that we spent with them, and remembering the beautiful life that we shared. Awesome. Okay. Brenda, Drew, I know you're waiting in the wings. <laughs> Let's get you in here. I'll move over to the yeah. side so you can get in on this. Hi. Okay. Hi. And this is their traditional sweet bread, right? Yeah. Feel free to <laughs> grab a little bit of this bread, get a taste. They're, they've got the sesame, you said, which is traditional as yeah, well yeah. as... So I'm going the, right for the sugar. Colored, <laughs> so it's the sugar coated. And then if you're interested in trying our conchas as well, which is kind of our more traditional bread that we do year round, uh, this one right here is a mm. pumpkin flavored one. This one is matcha and this one oh. is chocolate. I'll tell you, I grabbed this one because I do like, like the <laughs> sesame <laughs> seed and the poppy seed. So what is this one again? That is, yeah, the pa so pan de muerto, that is a sesame, coated, sesame seed coated. It's got a little bit of anise and then a touch of orange zest as well. Can I ask one more question? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> then, I'm sorry if you covered this already, but can you tell me again, you know, why did you go down the vegan route? What was the inspiration behind yeah, that? Yeah, so um, we had kind of a big switch up in our family so my mom was diagnosed with cancer a long time ago a couple years ago and so in that diagnose uh, she decided to make a big diet switch and with that switch she kind of ended up switching all of her old recipes when she used to make all of the bread uh, she's been a pastry chef for the past 22 years I believe now and so she had a lot of recipes that she had to work with and when she made that switch started changing all of them over um, just to kind of offer a wider variety of pastries and you know sweets to everybody who you know maybe is vegan or isn't sure. vegan that cool. way it's a little more accessible to everybody this mama done good <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious okay and if you're uh, wondering mm. how you can take part maybe try some mm. of their sweets you can head on over to the website on your screen vegannightmarket.org to find out all about the halloween vegan night market happening this saturday the largest vegan food festival in the Pacific Northwest is back. We are talking about the Halloween Vegan Night Market happening this Saturday at the Red. That's an event space on Portland's Central East Side. Of course, there's going to be a ton of music, costume contests, games, and a bunch of tasty vegan dishes, of course. More than 100 vendors will be participating this year, including grass-fed vegan cuisine. They are in studio with us this morning. We've got Cameron Kelso, Brian Stedham, and Tyler Cerno, all of them co-owners and chefs at Grass-Fed Vegan Cuisine, up early this morning showcasing all of this amazing food. Thanks for being in here, guys. Okay, so in addition to this meatless Italian sub I know that you've got here, and also this amazing burger, what are you guys going to be specializing in? Because I know you're opening a new location here soon, in the same building as the Ritz-Carlton, right? Correct, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, hopefully it opens sooner than later, and uh, 
a lot of what we're trying to do is provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well because it's a uh, full residency, hotel guests, and there's walk-in access from the street. Okay, and what made you guys decide, hey, we're gonna we're gonna go vegan with this? Well, all all three of us, um, it's kind of a super team. All three of us have owned our own vegan restaurants or vegan food carts. Um, Cameron used to own Stupid Vegans. That was the only um, <laughs> vegan restaurant on the coast. <laughs> and then he, and then Tyler used to own Chubby Bunny, or does own Chubby Bunny, which has two locations Why in Portland. <laughs> I know Chubby <laughs> Bunny. I know. <laughs> and Stupid Continue, Vegans, sorry. exactly. And this Italian sub <laughs> is from Dinger's Deli, which was my baby back in the day. I love the name. Yes, <laughs> yes. Dinger's Deli. I would go there. Who's responsible for the Chubby Bunny? That's me. Okay, just just keeping things straight. Here. I love it. I love it. Okay, so explain to us what we're looking at here. For before you explain yes. though, burger or sub? Which one? Well, I, I have to try. You have to try. There's a burger sub. there. Okay, can somebody yes. hand me a burger there? Mm -hmm. I, do you want a half or do you want yeah. a full? You should try. <laughs> I, I thought you wanted a full. I'll, I'll <laughs> grab. I'll grab you a half. Here I got right. you. I got you. Go. And then you said you wanted a sub, right? I feel like someone should try to. Tackle one of those. There things. you go. This is it's huge, by the one way. Bite. Okay, Good tell luck. me and tell us what you got in here in the sub, which is meatless, and the burger, which is also meatless. Whoever wants to go first. Uh, so I can go the burger. We call it the Trailblazer Burger because it's got a spicy blackberry hot sauce on there. Mm -hmm. It's an 80-20 blend of the burger patty, which is Thrilling Foods bacon. If you haven't tried it, you can put it on your grocery list. And uh, Beyond Burger mixed with that. It's also got some smoked gouda and a apple fennel slaw on a brioche bun. Wow. Delicious. I haven't taken my bite yet because I know Director it's Brian wants to see huge. the attempt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this sub, you'll explain the sub in a moment. Um, it's, it's, yes, it's massive. And I'm quite, you think I can get this whole thing in, One bite. in, in my mouth? I hope so. Do it. Let's do it. Do it. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You might be able to speak for the rest of the news. Huh? I guarantee A it. grunt, yes? Oh, oh, okay, okay, great. <laughs> you heard it here, you heard it here. Okay, grass-fed vegan cuisine. Yum. One of the more than 100 vendors at the Halloween Vegan Night Market. Take a look at your screen. This is all the information you need to know happening this Saturday. Vegannightmarket.org is where you want to go <laughs> for all the info.